Okay, so we're going to set up the um, active or the daily active balancer. So what you want to do is first download the Smart BMS app. I've already downloaded it, but if you haven't, um, then what you can do is go to your Apple iTunes and or the App Store and um, search for Smart BMS. Um, so if you click search, type in Smart BMS, and then it should show up. Um, and that's it there. Uh, I've already got it, so you can see it says open. Um, if you're on a Android device, go to the Google Play Store and do exactly the same thing, or you can go onto our website. Now, when you uh, log in, you'll first see local monitoring or remote monitoring. Click on local monitoring. Um, if you haven't already um, added the Bluetooth dongle, first press the button on the Bluetooth dongle, click on series, and you'll see that it's here. So I'll click on the plus button as I do now. And then um, you click on the actual device itself. Now we're actually logged into the Bluetooth dongle. Down the bottom, you'll see active balancer. So I'll click on that. When you first log in, um, you should see a screen exactly like this. Uh, on this device, you can see that it's already set up as the one amp is the active um, amperage uh, to balance at. Um, if it says zero, then just simply go in and type one and then hit set. The first time you go to change a setting, you'll need to put in the password, which is by default, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, um, you'll see that it's already recognized the number of strings or the number of cells, which in this case is four because I'm doing a, four volt, a 12 volt one. If you're 24, 36 or 48, obviously it's gonna be a higher number of strings, but it should automatically recognize it. Now, in terms of uh, temperature, uh, you'll see that it's currently minus 40. Um, I'll change that to zero as you shouldn't use these cells in below freezing conditions. Now, in terms of the sleep wait times currently set to 3,600 seconds, um, that I changed to 65135. Um, it just basically means that um, it won't go to sleep. So, okay, so the balance open diff vault. What that basically means is how far do you want your cells out of balance before the active balance will try and balance them. So in this case, it's 0.05. I like to change it, say, 0.03. Um, you know, you can have a little bit of variance um, there because obviously the cells will bounce around as you charge and discharge them with the different internal resistance. So I set mine to 0.03. The balance open start. Now it's currently 3.3 volts. I tend to change that to three volts. Um, it, uh, it does vary um, depending on who you speak to, but the reason why I charge, uh, start balancing at a lower um, voltage is because if you look at the charge profile of lithium ion phosphate it rises quickly it's flat through the middle and then it rises quickly at the end now if you leave it to say 3.4 volts to start balancing um it's already started going on that um increase towards the end where um a little bit of state of charge increases the voltage um uh, rapidly um and so if i start my balancing lower it gives the active balancer chan a chance to to keep up where if you try and start it at the end they might be already out of balance so the active balancer is trying to get the cells back into um, balance while the voltage is increasing quickly now the cell vault high protect um look lithium ion phosphate you shouldn't really be charging them higher than 3.65 on my BMS, I leave it to 3.6, um, but you can put 3.6 or 3.65 in here. It doesn't really matter. Um, the cell vol, vol, uh, low protects, similar scenario. Um, what's the um, voltage um, at the bottom end? You could leave that at 2.2 if you want, but I, I changed that to, to 3 to be the same as my BMS. So I'll hit set. Now... That's pretty much it for the um, for the um, settings for the active balancer. It's quite simple. The only other thing that you've got is down the bottom. You'll see that there's an on off button. So um, currently the active balancer is currently on. I'll hit so it's off. Um, so if you want to turn it off for any reason, um, you can do it like that. Um, but I leave it on and the active balancer um, is working now. So you should see a video 
um, just here where you can see there's a flashing light which means that the balancer is actually actively balancing the cells. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So if you need any, any other information or got any other questions, jump on our website, lipoforoz.com, uh, chat to us through the chat or shoot us a uh, email. Um, apart from that, that's it.